Hey everybody, this is Mr. Chris at the Hudson Area Library. We're not at the library today, we're at another location, uh, but we're still doing the STEM videos we want to share with you. So today we're doing a chemical reaction video. It's going to involve two main ingredients. Uh, styrofoam, which a lot of you are familiar with, hopefully for packing materials and whatnot, and acetone. Acetone is a chemical that a lot of you may have in your house. It's uh, commonly referred to as like a fingernail polish remover. It's like a solvent for uh, removing paint or fingernail polish, things like that. So styrofoam, everybody's got experience with. Uh, one of the things you may not know, it's 99% air. So that's what makes it so lightweight and people love it for uh, packing and shipping packages, televisions, things like that, because it doesn't add any additional weight to it. But being 99% air is one of the key things we're gonna demonstrate today. So it's also waterproof, so if you can see that, It'll float on water, it doesn't get damaged if you leave it out in the rain, things like that. But when you put it in acetone, if we can zoom in on that, you should see some bubbling. And it's not boiling. Some people think when I do this demonstration that it's boiling. The acetone is just breaking the, chemi uh, the chemical bonds that are holding the air inside the styrofoam and kind of releasing them. So what you're seeing in the bubbles is all the air just being released from the styrofoam. That's why I can push a huge big piece like this into the acetone and it's just releasing all of that material. So when you uh, dry it out, you can fish this out with a spoon and lay it on a paper towel, it'll dry out and you just have a hard little disc, which is actually all the material that was used to make this really big piece. So that's just one of the chemical reactions to kind of show you that uh, there really isn't that much material uh, used to make a large piece of styrofoam. And that's a chemical reaction for you today. Please like us on Facebook and our YouTube channel and we'll be shooting some more STEM videos at you soon. Thanks.